Hi everyone, I am going to tell you about the contents I have received in the box of USB stabilizers. It came to me in about 5 days time from Canada to Mumbai. It has several things in the box which I will show you one by one. Let me focus on the <coughs> box so that you can have a view of everything what, what I have received. Now this is one jar which had many connectors. I have emptied everything here. Primarily I will show you <coughs> this is the USB stabilizer. These are the two ports. This is meant for power supply and this is a USB port which will go to the computer USB 3 not USB 2 USB 3 this is a port which will be connected to the source drive USB which is unstable so this will go to the source drive Please remember this. This is to the source drive, this is to the computer and this is to the power. Now what connects to the power? I have this adapter. <coughs> it's a 5 volt adapter. The specifications are 100 to 240 volts and DC output 5 volt 1.5 ampere. Okay, and we plug it here into the power port. The other end will go to the power outlet. One should have this type of power outlet or get it made or there are adapters available which will connect to the power outlet through this type of connector. We have also got two set of cables which go to the hard disk. Now these cables are meant for actually rapid spark. They cannot be connected anywhere here but in case you buy rapid spark you can connect them to the source drive and to the destination drive. So this is an extra pair of cables which will really be of little use to us. <coughs> now we also see a cable which has these two ends hmm. we will plug in this end to the computer USB 3 remember this is blue USB 3 is blue in color if you push it into USB 2 or any other port which is not blue this device won't operate. Now the other end goes here. Right? Snapped in and this will go to the computer. Now about this one more cable, same type. This will go to the source drive. Right, this other end will go to the unstable USB drive 
which we have to get it detected through USB stabilizer if it is quite okay and maybe I could say has little defects in it. For massive defects, we will see what to do in our future videos. <coughs> now, we have this type of connector to meant for data recovery or connecting this device to Apple products or anything which has the input for this port and here it can be connected to the stabilizer. This is one more wire we have got showing USB on one side and a power connector on the other. Uh, some of the connectors which they have given need power. So here is a connector which will need power. So they have given this device to us. right so this goes here this goes here <coughs> now screwdriver to tighten your drives which will come out of mac on these connectors this is a connector which is usb 3 to M.2 SSD enclosure for SSD M key PCI Express. Whenever you open a laptop, especially Mac, and you find SSD M key PCI Express card inside, you have to use this adapter. Again, this point will be connected as shown this will go to the stabilizer and this is for the power supply there is one more adapter again i will have to change my specs to see it but however one can identify this connector for certain solid state PCI Express drives which can be fitted into this these three holes are actually meant to fit the SSD in such a way that it does not heat up some heat sinks are provided with SSDs so these holes are meant for that that is what I believe I have not dealt much with Mac SSDs to speak honestly. Now this is again an enclosure USB 3.1 type C. Now in this enclosure also I find the same USB connection with a power connect with a power source for a power. Now to repeat again, a screwdriver, a USB 3.1 type C connector, again a connector, all of them are connected to the stabilizer for data recovery. I push everything back into the box. I shall end this video here. If you have any questions, you can ask the parent company. I have honestly, I have not dealt much with Mac, and I really uh, will come to know after I use these connectors properly sometime. I will post the videos when I get such a drive.
thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe if you like it thanks again